Hey, Dave from Red Smoke Barbecue here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Now, on today's episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do a breakfast marmalade combined with our favorite barbecue sauce to make marmalade barbecue chicken wings. Now, it's a little bit different, but you just gotta trust me on this when I say it's absolutely delicious. In fact, it's big debate in our house whether this is our favorite style of chicken wing at the moment or peanut butter and jelly, which is uh, a chicken wing video that we made last week. And I'll throw a link to that at the end of this episode. Now, this one's a super simple recipe. There's only third ingredient that we need to make this sauce. So it's probably one of the easier chicken wings that you can make. Uh, and we're gonna run you through everything you need as well as the process we do to make the wings so you can give it a go at home. So stick around and enjoy the episode. Okay, so to start things off, we'll go with one cup of orange breakfast marmalade. That's gonna give us our orange tang. We'll go with two tablespoons of soy sauce. That's gonna help just balance out the recipe and we'll go with one cup of barbecue sauce. That's gonna give us our sweetness, and then our chicken wings or chicken nibbles, whichever you decide to use on this dish. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil as a binding agent for our rub. And on this one, you can use any rub you want, but I'm gonna use the Deep South East combination, actually, of the uh, Contender and Sweet Meat, two of my favorite rubs. Now, as I said here, you can use any rub you like on the chicken. It doesn't really matter because the sauce is the hero of the dish, uh, but just make sure you coat both sides of your chicken. All right, now that we've finished uh, seasoning our chicken, we need to transfer it to a wire rack to make it easier to handle. All right, so we've transferred our chicken to this wire grill. I like to do that, just it's a little easier to handle the chicken. Uh, and we've got to move it downstairs. So we've got our offset smoker set at around 275. So let's get the chicken down there and start cooking. Okay, so our chicken's been cooking for just over an hour now. So what we're gonna do is combine all three ingredients into a single bowl and then just give that a bit of a stir. Now don't worry a bit too much about getting all the lumps out or anything like that. Just mix all the ingredients through because we're gonna transfer this to a hot saucepan. Okay, so you just wanna let this sauce simmer for around 20 minutes, just on, a, on the lowest heat you can. Constantly stirring, what you're trying to do is just get rid of those lumps uh, from the marmalade out of the sauce so it's nice and smooth. Now we've been smoking uh, chicken today over applewood and it's been there for approximately about an hour 45, looking for an internal temp of 165. All right, now our chicken's done. I've uh, plated that up and I've pulled the sauce off the stove. We're just gonna pour that all over the chicken, giving it a good coat, and I'm just garnishing it with some sesame seeds. All right, there you go. Uh, marmalade barbecue chicken wings. Probably one of the easiest chicken wing recipes you can do. Only three ingredients required to make the sauce, so give it a go. Now, if you uh, like this video, we really appreciate a thumbs up. And even more, we'd appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel and check us out on Instagram at Red Smoke Barbecue. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, I got a thumbs up. Righto, I'm happy with that. I'm taking it. I'm out of here. <laughs>